This is my fourth year living in the Dominican Republic. And every year we just kind of go through all of the costs that we have because they're constantly changing. Every year things are going up. If you're curious to know how much it costs to live in the Dominican Republic, I'm going to go through all of our expenses in order from most expensive to least expensive. And we do live in San Pedro de Macorís, which is one of the cheaper cities to live in. If you live in the capital or Santiago or a place like Punta Cana, your expenses are going to be a lot more. Hello, hola, it's Yanni and Kayla. Hola, hello from the TR of Buffalo. I divided our expenses into 10 categories. I'll put the dollars up on the screen, but I'm going to be mentioning them all in pesos. The first category, by far the most expensive, is food and household. Food has always been the most expensive for us, and we don't eat desserts. Mariano is not a fan of desserts. We eat out at restaurants maybe twice a month. We don't drink alcohol. I tried alcohol one time, and it burned my face, and I didn't drink it again. Um, we don't drink coffee, so just keep all that in mind. It's still our most expensive category, and we spend between 14,000 and 20,000 pesos every month on food and household. Some of the things that are really expensive are like peanut butter is 400 pesos, granola bars for one box of six is 400 pesos, a bag of Cheerios, which they're currently out of. I went to three different stores and all the Cheerios in San Pedro are gone, but a box of Cheerios is 300 pesos. Wipes, like a package of three wipes are 800 pesos. Nutella is a thousand pesos and almond butter is also like 900 pesos and soy milk is also 300 pesos for a tiny thing of it. So that's just me though because I don't process fats anymore. My body once I turned 30 was like yeah I'm not processing fats anymore. So I had to go on a diet. So being in San Pedro it's really hard to find certain things. Santo Domingo and La Romana have a lot more American things. And I'm sure more touristy cities would have American things. We also don't have a car, so it's harder for us to get around. The next category is rent. Our rent is currently 13,000 pesos. It's for a two bedroom apartment with a big porch and an area for the washing machine upstairs and parking for the motorcycle downstairs inside of the gate. There are cheaper apartments on this street the other people have apartments for 6,000 pesos, but they're very tiny and they're not as nice as ours. So it's possible to find a cheaper apartment, but it's also possible for a more expensive one. We have looked at so many apartments over the past couple years, and some of them are really nice, but they were 20,000 pesos a month or 30,000 pesos a month for three bedrooms and four bedrooms. We want to rent a house. There are houses for rent, but those are going to be a lot more expensive. This is obviously my favorite apartment. Even though we've only been in one other apartment, I love this apartment so much. I just love the yellow walls and it's just so bright and just cheery and happy all the time. Even though I'm not a very cheery and happy person. The third category is the motorcycle. We spend about 2,000 pesos in gas for that every month. And then regular repairs are probably another 2,000. Repairs are not that often, but I feel like Mariana was constantly repairing that motorcycle. The mechanic is super cheap, so that's nice. The fourth category is the gym. There are very cheap gyms, but our gym is 1,000 pesos per person, which I feel like is expensive. It's not that big of a gym. There is air conditioning, but it's kind of small. There are other gyms that are a lot more expensive here, 2,000, 3,000 pesos a month, which I think is way too much for us. So we pay 2,000 for the both of us for the gym. And I kind of have to go to the gym because if I don't, I'm in a lot of pain. So the gym has been necessary. The first year that we were here, we went to a boxing gym for free. And then one day they made me punch a person and I hated it. And so I stopped going. I was not a fan. She also punched me in the jaw and I started crying. It hurt so bad. So yeah, no. We go to a normal gym now. The fifth category is cleaning. We pay someone to come and clean the floors twice a month. 
and that's 2,000 pesos, 1,000 each time. It's well worth it for me because I had major back surgery, so it's extremely hard for me to mop and like bend over and do the floors. So I clean everything else, and then she comes and she does the floors. It's so helpful. Category number six is the Wi-Fi. That's about 1,600 pesos a month. I'm able to pay that one with my credit card on the app. We don't have to go anywhere in person to pay that. That's the most convenient bill to pay. And then the next category is the electric. Our electric is 1,200 pesos a month. We do not have an air conditioner. We do not have a TV. We have a ceiling fan and we have a microwave, a fridge, a stove, a washing machine, and a fan. That's pretty much it for the electric. If you have a air conditioner, the electric is probably going to be like six times the cost of ours. But if you want an air conditioner, then it would be totally worth it for you to pay that extra. We just don't get that hot. So for us, it's not really worth it. Category eight is our phone. We just put minutes on it whenever we need it. So we literally only pay 500 pesos a month on our phone. We don't have an actual phone plan with data. We don't want data. We don't like data. We enjoy going places and not bringing our phone. We enjoy going places without that. I don't know what to call it. It's almost like a distraction for me. I just like going and doing things and not being distracted by my phone. But that's just me personally. So if you want a phone plan, there are phone plans available. We just don't want one. Category number nine is the water. We do have to order water bottles. They're big jugs of water, I guess. And that's about 200 pesos a month because Mariano goes himself and fills it and then brings it back in a backpack one by one and we have five. But he probably only goes every two weeks or every three weeks maybe. We were getting them delivered and it costs a little bit more, but it's still super cheap. Category number 10, the last and final category is gas for our stove. That we don't even pay per month. We just pay 800 to fill it and it lasts between six months and a year, depending on how much I use the oven. If I'm baking bread constantly and the bread takes an hour to two hours to bake, then the gas is gonna go out really fast. But if I'm just normally baking and normally cooking, it will last almost a year. So that's not that expensive for gas. And that's the only appliance we have that is gas. We have been thinking about getting a dryer that would also require gas, but we haven't gotten that far yet. The last expense that I do wanna mention is not really a category because it's not really monthly, it's just as we want it. Um, and that's Rapid Pack. So we have a company where I, if I want something from Amazon, I will send it to the company in Miami and then literally overnight, it will, I'll get a notification saying, that it's in Miami and then the next day it will tell me that it's ready to get picked up here in San Pedro. But that company brings our packages here and that is about 1,000 to 2,000 per package if it's several pounds. Mariano needed shoes and so my mom sent him shoes. Those were probably 800 pesos for that package. If we get small items, I try and only order small things, light things, so we don't have to pay so much for shipping. So that's going to be a couple hundred pesos at the most. Almost everything that we have in this apartment that's from the U.S. I brought. Southwest is fantastic, and they let you have two free bags. So I would just bring two huge duffel bags full of as much stuff as I could possibly fit that was under 50 pounds. Every time I came, I did that. So I would recommend bringing stuff from the US that's heavy rather than shipping it or ordering it on Amazon with that company because shipping costs do add up. Rapid Pack is $2 a pound and that's the cheapest one that I've seen. The other ones in the capital and in other cities are a lot more expensive per pound. So I try to avoid that if at all possible. So overall, I feel like living in the Dominican Republic is fairly cheap per month. It's just the food. The food gets us. That is so expensive. And we'll go by the Malacone and we'll want ice cream because it's so good. It's not ice cream, it's yogurt, but it's so good. So yeah, it all depends how you want to live and what you want to do, 
when we go to the capital, trips to the capital probably cost us 3,000 pesos total for the buses and the taxis and the food and everything to get there and back. So most days we just ride around San Pedro. I feel like the people of San Pedro have seen us too much. They're just like, oh, it's them again. Because that's all we do every day is just ride around. It's really relaxing to go by the Malacón and ride along the water and just sit and watch the waves. It is really peaceful. That's one of my favorite things to do in San Pedro. But yeah, I think those were all the expenses. If I forgot anything or if you have any questions, let me know. Peace out. I'm doing fine. So is your worried mind. Sit back and close your eyes. so very nice I'm happier than I've ever been in my